Good evening. This is day two at Occupy Chattanooga. Checking in. This is day eight. And uh, what a day it is. I uh, woke up this morning and uh, woke up in a tent city. <laughs> what a great feeling. What a great feeling to wake up and be in a community. Be in a community that strives for the same thing, that is all here for the same reason, to, to bring a voice to the American people again. You know, there's, there's a certain comfort that comes along with having an encampment. And I think, you know, walking into Occupy Chattanooga and spending the evening here with the Occupy Chattanooga activists has really been an uplifting thing for the entire group and, and for me personally, really. Uh, it's, it's nice, it's so nice waking up and, 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 you know, in a tent, in a tent city, you know. Would I like to be in my comfortable bed? Absolutely. Would I like to be, in, in, you know, a comfortable house? Absolutely. However, a time comes when, you know, silence is betrayal, you know, and I look at it like, I have to be out here, you know, and if I'm going to be out here, I want to make sure that I'm out here with my peoples, you know, with the people, for the people, you know, and, and that's what today was like. It was beautiful, you know, what a beautiful way to start the morning. And, uh, you know, I just want to check in, just talk about how, you know, it, Everything that's been happening has been fluid-like, you know, it's almost been orchestrated, you know, how, how we get to spend some time, really the past 36 hours has been an orchestration of, 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 of the team getting to know the team, you know, spending time with each other, and we don't even have to say anything, really, you know, I mean, like, me, me, and, me and Peter today were just at, the, at the, the coffee shop down the street, and we didn't say anything for about three hours, you know. But we, we were there using the internet, we were getting work done, he was doing the blog, I was doing the video log up, uploads, and it was, that was a moment, that was like, that's us working together for a, for a finite goal, you know, and, and we're achieving that goal, I can feel it, I know we are achieving that goal, and today was a perfect time for us to, to bond like that, you know, and... Uh, Orchestra. I keep thinking of the word orchestra. It keeps coming to my mind, and I look at it like maybe that's what it is. You know, uh, having one maestro in the front means nothing. You know, having a row of violinists over here means nothing. When you have the viol violin with the cello and and, and and the brass over here and the b drum in the back, you know, then you have a full-on orchestration. You know, and I look at it like that's what we're aiming for. You know. Uh, what started off as selectiveness has turned into, evolved into something more beautiful. You know, now it's turned into a foundation. Andrew's working on putting that foundation up online here to 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 lay out a foundation for what the the, the walkie pie is. You know, and 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 other people can emulate that. You know, in the time that's coming. You know, and it's like that orchestra that's happening right now is is liable to change the world. You know, and I really believe that you know I really believe that we can do it with a strong enough orchestra you know what's that saying go uh, with a lever long enough no yeah with a lever long enough uh, with a pulley pulley long no, no, with a, a lever long enough and a fulcrum strong enough we can change the world you know Archimedes you know we can you know if we have the right tools in place and I believe that we do you know we can change this world you know and uh, I just want to talk touch on something right now too it's Saturday night I'm about to go to bed here and uh, you know I just press that you people that are watching you know everyone that's watching even myself I'll, I'll press it into myself too is let's go out there and live outside of our comfort zones you know um, let's go out there and live beyond what we think we can live at you know it's like I never thought I'd be able to go this long without doing this or do, do this and still survive this you know and it's like every day I'm proven otherwise you know and it's like that's what the beauty of this whole movement is it allows us to press past our comfort zones in a safe environment and learn who we are you know it's like if I never grow if I never push myself to the limit I'll never know what my boundaries are you know if I'm happy settling for less then I'm always gonna sell for less and I'm like no I don't want that you know what I want I want to push further I want to evolve I want to change I want to grow and that's only gonna happen is if I press keep pressing forward you know and I can't look back at what I've done all the crap that I've done in the past you know I can't look too far ahead in the future but I know that in this moment right now I'm pressing the envelope in my own life and all the actions that I'm taking and all the thoughts that I'm thinking I know that I've never thought this before I've never felt this before so it's like I know I'm pushing myself 
And that's kind of like my, my measure. My measuring tape is, is if, I've, if I've gone through this before, that means I'm not learning as much as if I haven't, you know? I don't know where I'm going with that, you know? I'm just saying, you know, it's like, let, let's keep pushing it beyond ourselves, and, and you know? And uh, that's day two at Occupy Chattanooga, and I'll check back in with you tomorrow.